Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. But before we kick things off tonight, we got to take you to some footage that happened earlier today as the Rated R Superstar Edge was arriving at the Greensboro Coliseum, ambushed backstage by the Apex Predator Randy Orton. No shortage of history between these two men. And of course, the last time we saw them was at Money in the Bank when both men were in a losing effort to the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. But watch what happened right here. A RKO by Randy Orton on the concrete. A very interesting situation that we're going to need an update on throughout tonight on SmackDown. Well, the blood is certainly on Randy Orton's hands, but there is more business at stake tonight in your main event as the Apex Predator is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles. And also tonight here on SmackDown, a huge tag team matchup between two teams with no shortage of history. Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, take on Dominic and Rey Mysterio. Big time tag team match coming your way live tonight from the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. But what a way to kick things off with the dominating, intimidating, undefeated United States Heavyweight Champion representing Imperium, Gunther. And as we found out last week here on SmackDown, the United States Championship set to be defended on August the 20th at the biggest party of the summer, Summer Slam. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, well, Gunther is set to defend his United States Championship next month in Levi Stadium as he takes on the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, who resurfaced last week, eliminating every man in a five-man elimination challenge. And after Cody Rhodes was choked out by Gunther last month at Super SmackDown in Washington, D.C., the American Nightmare ready to run things back and right the wrong of that eerie night in our nation's capital. Guther has held the United States Championship for 152 days, winning the title back on WrestleMania Sunday. Since that night, he has defeated the likes of Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, Wes Lee, Rey Mysterio, Cody Rhodes himself. But will the American Nightmare right the wrong of Super SmackDown next month? It is a live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday night, August the 20th, Levi Stadium, San Francisco, California, for the biggest party yet, SummerSlam! And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano! But a big time opportunity at hand tonight for the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano, who has finally started to build some momentum for himself here on Friday Night SmackDown. Things were rocky for a few months ever since Gargano was drafted over from Raw here to Friday nights. But in recent months, Gargano picking up a big time victory over Chad Gable, recently defeating Jinder Mahal on WWE Live as well. Gargano is rallying the troops. The WWE Universe getting behind the man who was once the face of NXT Black and Gold. Johnny Gargano held every championship there was to hold in NXT years ago, and he is already a former World Tag Team Champion here on the main roster. But Johnny Gargano looking at this huge opportunity tonight, standing across the ring from the undefeated Gunther. And you hear the crowd here in North Carolina firmly behind Johnny Wrestling as we kick things off here at the Greensboro Coliseum. Gotta imagine what is at stake for Johnny Gargano tonight, a victory over Gunther not only Definitely go down in the history books as the man who finally knocked Guther off the mountain. 
and breaking that undefeated streak that he has held since November. Johnny Organo would certainly put himself in line for a future United States Championship opportunity regardless as to who leaves SummerSlam holding the red, white, blue, and gold. It's going to be a great night of action here in the Coliseum in Greensboro. Still to come in your main event, the phenomenal AJ Styles one-on-one -on -one with the Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton already busy here tonight. For one reason or another, ambushing Edge earlier today. A lot more to come on that situation, we got to believe. But meanwhile, Johnny Organo taking things to the sky. A tope suicida, and down goes the champion, at least for a moment. The ring general so hard to keep off his feet, as we are seeing right now. There's a reason Gunther is not only the United States champion for the last 152 days, but has had an undefeated streak longer than that. Ever since Imperium was drafted to SmackDown in November, Gunther has taken the blue brand by storm. The Gargano, look at this, off the top rope, head scissors takedown, and Gunther down and out on the outside. Johnny Gargano, all the tools to keep down the man, the likes of Gunther. And as we mentioned, Johnny Gargano looking to seize the opportunity tonight, not only to find his name in the record books as the first person to defeat Gunther here on Friday Night SmackDown, but also to earn himself a future United States Championship opportunity. Gargano's been building that momentum as of late. We'll continue against Gunther, but right now the ring general having his way with the whole shebang at ringside. Luther, as we mentioned, has turned away the likes of some of the best of them. Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, most recently Rey Mysterio at Money in the Bank. Will Guther be able to outlast Cody Rhodes for a second time at SummerSlam? The American Nightmare, no doubt Guther's best challenge yet, almost had the United States Champion defeated last month at Super SmackDown on numerous occasions, but in the end, the ring general, with that vicious chokehold, passing out Cody Rhodes, giving him no choice but to give up retaining his United States Championship. Cody Rhodes finally shaking that loss and what a performance it was seven nights ago, defeating everybody there was to be in that five-man elimination challenge. Robert Roode, Dolph Ziggler, Ron Breaker, and Mustafa Ali all falling to the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes certainly a deserving challenger to run things back with Guther at SummerSlam for the United States Championship. Right now, Johnny Gargano just worried about his whereabouts, trying to get back into this matchup. As Guther was starting to pick up steam, and there's another reversal by the champion. As we mentioned earlier, Guther's so hard to keep down inside of that squared circle. There's a reason this man has been undefeated. Why, when Imperium turns a corner in the locker room, everybody walks the other way. Nobody wants to have their business intertwined with the ring general, with the United States champion. Johnny Gargano on the outside of the ring. Better watch Giovanni Vinci in his rear view mirror. Back inside and drop. Oh, a Guther going for the drop kick, but Johnny Gargano able to avoid it. And what a reversal by Gargano. Guther, that drop kick is enough to knock the soul right out of you. Some of his size and strength, but also the agility of the ring general. Luckily, luckily for Gargano, had the speed and the wherewithal to get out of the way. And now Johnny wrestling. Oh, wait a minute, going for a submission hold here. Trying to tap out a man who has tapped out many of his opponents before. Organo's got a submission or two in his arsenal, pulling out one of them, and look at the wrench on the neck of the United States champion. Oh, but Guther fighting out of it like no one else does. Guther is a hard task for anybody to figure out inside of that ring, and there's the drop kick he was looking for a few moments ago. Shot out like a cannon. And Johnny Gargano is now fighting an uphill battle once more. Sidestepping Guther again. Johnny Wrestling is trying to get his wits about. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't know about that. That might have been low, but the referee's not calling it. I assume he did not completely kick where the sun don't shine, but the referee better keep his eye on that situation right there. Is that a... A sense of desperation out of the ring general, I'm not exactly sure, but nonetheless, Guther going for the chokehold on Johnny Gargano, and this may be all she wrote. People have escaped in the past, but at the end of the day, when Guther is strapped around you with this stranglehold, there's almost nowhere to go. I'm looking at Gargano battling out of it. Oh, wait a minute, he's got Guther in a pinfall here. He's gonna steal it, not just yet. 
almost stole the victory, and there's another drop kick by the champion. Business is picking up tonight in the Greensboro Coliseum. And I'm sure the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes has got his eyes locked on this matchup. Scouting Gunther all he can, trying to find a weakness in the arsenal. And Johnny Gargano right now, trying to build some steam. Here comes Johnny Wrestling. Gunther in the corner. And the only Grand Slam champion in NXT history. Looking to get the biggest win of his SmackDown career. The slingshot in the corner. Oh, and he almost had him. A two and a half for Johnny Gargano. Almost had Gunther knocked out cold, but the matchup rolls on, and there's a reversal by the champion. Oh, wait a minute, this time Gargano with the drop toe hold, and now has got the Gargano escape. Locked in dead center of the ring. The champion with nowhere to go. Gunther is struggling right now. Johnny Gargano, no one knows that submission better than the man who locks it in himself. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Gunther. Instead of trying to crawl towards the ropes, it's just going to start throwing fists and knees. Now Johnny Gargano, in an instant, is in trouble off the Uranagi. It is so hard to figure out. The ring general inside of that ring, and an emphatic power bomb, stacking up Gargano. And good night. An impressive victory, as always, for the United States Champion Gunther. Well, Johnny Gargano giving it all he had, but the undefeated streak rolls through the Greensboro Coliseum. Message sent to the American Nightmare. Here is your winner, Gunther! Well, Johnny Gargano will live to fight another day, but that's another victory in the win column for the undefeated, intimidating United States Champion Gunther. But will the American Nightmare be able to crack the code of the ring general when those two meet? on August the 20th in Levi Stadium. In 2016, the landscape of WWE was altered when the best wrestlers from around the globe at 205 pounds and under gathered on common ground and fought to earn the ultimate spotlight. Now, we do it all over again, starting on Saturday afternoon, August the 19th, 16 of the best cruiserweights in all of WWE will compete in an eight-week eliminator to determine a future challenger for gold and to decide who is the best in the world. It's the 2023 WWE Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, and it all begins on the 19th of August. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to last week on SmackDown. The EST, Bianca Belair, successful in her one-on-one -on -one affair against Zoe Stark. But the story really coming after the bell when the ballsy badass Shotzi, a former tag team partner of Bianca Belair, sneaking up on Belair after her victory and the ambush by the ballsy badass herself. A lot of questions regarding what we saw last week on SmackDown, but seemingly a change in attitude and perspective for Shotzi here in the blue brand. And speaking of the devil, Shotzi is back in action tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi. Well, we do know that Shotzi and Bianca Belair have really had a tumultuous relationship over the last year and change. Remember, it all started back last year when Shotzi took Bianca Belair to the limit on numerous occasions inside of that ring, unable to defeat the EST. And all roads led to last year at SummerSlam where Shotzi, with the biggest win of her career, defeated Bianca Belair to become the women's champion. Of course, that only lasted for so long when Asuka cashed in her briefcase on Shotzi, but nonetheless, all the months later when Shotzi was having an issue with Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell over the Women's Tag Team Championships, and Tegan Knox went down with injury. The ballsy badass needed a tag team partner, and she recruited Bianca Belair, somebody who we thought was always on the opposite side of Shotzi, but what we assumed was a mutual respect had been made between the two after all the battles 
throughout the year of 2022, but nonetheless, after that women's tag team championship reign and things clearly falling apart, Shotzi has decided to go on her own and evidently has taken issue with the EST Bianca Belair. And you gotta wonder if the final nail in the coffin for the ballsy badass was when the two women were paired with each other in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup last month in the TD Garden. And Bianca Belair, of course, picking up the victory over Shotzi on that night, but we figured a mutual respect would lead the two to the same exact respect after the bell. But nonetheless, Shotzi clearly not forgetting about that loss and has decided to take matters into her own hands. We have yet to get a word from Bianca Belair after the events of last week, and from what we have heard, Bianca Belair not even in the building tonight. So shaken to the core after Shotzi ambushed her in a, after a matchup last week. Nonetheless, the ballsy badass is back in action tonight, one-on-one -on -one with a former tag team champion as well in Aaliyah. And Aaliyah, of course, and Raquel Rodriguez were the team who dethroned Shotzi and Bianca Belair for the Women's Tag Team Championships a few months back here on Friday Night SmackDown. A little history between these two women. I'm sure Shotzi has not forgotten and is looking to take out some of that built-up aggression on Aaliyah here tonight. A lot of things heating up in the women's division here in WWE. Of course, the women's champion of the world resides here on Friday Night SmackDown, that being the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. We'll find out who her SummerSlam opponent is going to be this Monday night on Raw. My goodness! Suplex into the buckles. Nonetheless, as we were mentioning, this coming Monday night on Raw, we are going to see Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch, and Asuka in a triple threat match. One fall to a finish. The winner is going to fight the Queen of Spades next month in Levi Stadium for the Women's Championship of the World. Oh, remains to be seen who is going to be next to step up. But right now, Shotzi is taking the fight to Aaliyah. There is a personal vendetta that Shotzi has taken with clearly multiple women in the division, and that aggression is pouring out tonight in Greensboro. Leah's just taking the brunt of it right now. Off the top, fists and knees are flying. And now Aaliyah rolling to the outside to try to catch a breather, but I don't think Shotzi is interested in letting Aaliyah get any space in this match. Dive to the outside, taking a bullet was Aaliyah. Shotzi is throwing live rounds in this matchup. And as we mentioned, Aaliyah is taking the brunt of it. I'm sure Shotzi maybe hopes to be sending a message to Bianca Belair tonight. I'm sure last week's attack was not the end of whatever the ballsy badass has in mind for the EST. There is a personal vendetta there. And you know Bianca Belair is not going to take that one lying down. And Shotzi is looking to send a message to hell, possibly anybody watching this matchup in the division tonight, that a newfound attitude has dawned across the former women's champion. Back inside the ring after Shotzi was taking the fight to Ali on the outside, and this has basically been a, a one-sided matchup here. Ali is fighting an uphill battle to say the very least, and wait a minute, Shotzi's not done yet. Planning Ali head first into the cover, and I believe it is academic at this point. A victory for Shotzi here tonight on SmackDown. Whatever this newfound attitude and aggression that the ballsy badass has dawned, it is already paying her dividends, cutting ties with Bianca Belair and securing a victory against Aaliyah. Here is your winner. Well, she's already a former women's champion, a former tag team champion as well, but this is an all new Shotzi we are beginning to see. And you gotta wonder, what is gonna be the next chapter that Shotzi is going to write here on Friday Night SmackDown? The next time we come your way for a major live premiere event is Sunday night, August the 20th. We are heading to Levi Stadium, San Francisco, California for the 2023 SummerSlam. And already multiple matches signed for the biggest party yet, including the United States Championship set to be defended as the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes runs things back with the ring General Gunther. A rematch from last month's Super SmackDown on the biggest party of the summer.
And what about this matchup from Monday Night Raw? There is a score to be settled in no holds barred between the prize fighter Kevin Owens and the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Something's got to give on the 20th of August. And Friday Night SmackDown's main event for that night already signed the 2023 King of the Ring winner. All day Austin Theory looks to be the man who toppled the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. One of the main events of SummerSlam for the World Heavyweight Championship. All that and more coming your way. It is the biggest party yet. A week of live premieres kicking off with Monday Night Raw on August the 14th. Smackdown on the 18th. What about the kickoff to the Cruiserweight Classic Saturday, August the 19th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And then, of course, Sunday night the 20th for SummerSlam. And of course, the Cruiserweight Classic going to be an eight-week tournament. 16 of the best Cruiserweights going to enter the ring in Manhattan, New York. Only one man is going to be crowned the King of the Cruiserweights. And it all begins August the 19th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time Live. And join us next Friday night on SmackDown, where we will reveal the 16 men not only participating in the tournament, but the bracket itself for the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic. That is going to be revealed next week here on SmackDown. But as for tonight here at the Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina, we got a big time tag team match on hand. Two teams, no strangers to each other, and the Viking Raiders and the Mysterio family. The history dates back to last summer when these two teams were battling over the world tag team gold. We revisit this rivalry tonight here on the Blue Brand. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Valhalla at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric. Well, the Viking Raiders with some new company tonight. Valhalla in the corner of Eric and Ivar. Very interesting situation that we're going to have to keep our eyes on. But, man, are these two men looking more intimidating than ever or what? Former World Tag Team Champions who have been trying to get back to the number one contendership over the last few months. Remember, Eric and Ivar challenged for the gold back in April, and an awesome matchup at Backlash unfortunately came up short against the former champions Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. But tonight could be a step in the right direction for not only the Viking Raiders, but possibly the team of Dominic and Rey Mysterio. The Mysterio family back in action tonight in Greensboro. And it's not certainly looking for some momentum after Ray's loss to Gunther just a few weeks back at Money in the Bank. And their opponents at a combined weight of 375 pounds. The team of Dominic and Ray Mysterio. Well, as we were mentioning, the history between these two teams dates all the way back to last year's SummerSlam event where Eric and Ivar walked in as the World Tag Team Champions, but they were dethroned on that night by the father and son duo of Dominic and Rey Mysterio. All those issues bled over to Extreme Rules the following one, following month, excuse me, where Dominic and Rey retained the World Tag Team titles in a tables matchup against the Viking Raiders as well. I'm sure Eric and Ivar have not forgotten about the team that knocked them off the mountain over a year ago, and Eric and Ivar, as we mentioned, been chomping at the bit to get tag team gold around their waist. They've had their opportunities. They've come up short. As we talk about time and time again, every victory and every loss matters. And Eric and Ivar looking to get back in the winning ways here tonight on SmackDown. And so are Ray and Dominic, but so far not so hot. As Ivar's looking for the kill against the master of the 619. And things already starting to break down in the opening moments of this tag team match. We talked about the bled, bad blood between these two teams, so I expect nothing less. You got to look at the opposite side of the ring and Dominic and Rey Mysterio. A couple of big time losses for the Mysterio family as of late, more specifically for Rey Mysterio himself. Look back at King of the Ring last month where Rey Mysterio came up short against Santos Escobar in the Extreme Lucha Rules match for the Cruiserweight Championship, really ending a multiple month war with Legado del Fantasma. Even though mutual respect was definitely gained between Ray and Escobar, Ray still left empty-handed. Ray, of course, bounced back, earned himself a United States Championship opportunity against Gunther at Money in the Bank, but 
You saw where the championship lies earlier tonight, and that is around the ring, General. So Rey Mysterio and Dominic looking for some much-needed momentum here tonight in the Coliseum. Ivar on the outside of the ring, and Mysterio doing what he does best, taking things to the sky. Cross body, down goes the big man. And Ray and Dominic gonna have to use those high-flying abilities to their advantage tonight. What a mood soul! Sitting down with it and letting the springboard take over. Mysterio and Dominic, their way of outlasting Eric and Ivar a year ago at SummerSlam was all their high-risk maneuvers, the speed and agility. And that is what the Mysterios are gonna have to tap into here tonight. Ivar's got other plans, though. We have talked about in recent months how Eric and Ivar have seemingly only gotten more vicious. The Viking Raiders only more dangerous than ever here on Friday Night SmackDown. Looking to make a statement here tonight against Ray and Dominic Mysterio. And now with that wicked-looking Valhalla in their corner, you gotta wonder what that woman is planning in the minds of Eric and Ivar. As Eric gets tagged in, Rey Mysterio now in trouble in Viking Raiders territory and ragdolling the master of the 619. Into the cover, Mysterio kicks out, but they are in much need of some fresh legs. Rey needs a tag to Dominic and he needs it now. Rey has wrestled this entire matchup thus far. His son has not seen any action. Ray again is in trouble in Viking Raiders territory. A double team may be coming. Pop up. Look at the maneuver out of the Viking Raiders. Ray Mysterio. This may be a short night of work for the Mysterio family. Leg Lariat into the cover and Dominic breaking things up. But a close call for the father and son duo. As we mentioned, no shortage of history here tonight. Eric and Ivar have not forgotten about their past battles, and they are taking the fight to Ray and Dominic. Mysterio and company are in trouble. And Ivar, the beatdown commences on the outside. Meanwhile, Eric is working over Dominic on the opposite side. Ray and Dominic are not looking hot tonight. The Viking Raiders have came with a purpose, have came with a vendetta and a blueprint to succeed. Rey Mysterio is ribcage, maybe screaming for mercy right now as Ivar is looking to flatten the Hall of Famer at ringside. Rey Mysterio is in deep waters, struggling to breathe, and Ivar now into the cover. Bring an end to this contest here tonight, a close call. Rey Mysterio can never knock the heart of the master of the 619. Tag made to Eric, and a much needed tag to Dominic Mysterio, and here comes Dominic. Going for the drop kick, nobody home. The striker and Eric, so much good defense in the arsenal as well. Oh, and here comes Dominic using that speed, using the agility. Tornado DDT. Dominic looking to be the lifesaver of the Mysterios here tonight on SmackDown. Nice hip toss. Great strength out of the young man as well to muscle Eric up for that maneuver. Into the moonsault, not enough to keep him down for the three, but certainly getting the momentum on the side of the Mysterio family. And another Tornado TDT really spiked Eric with that one. Will that do it? Not just yet. Dominic bringing the fire at the Mysterio's need tonight. We talked about the recent losses for Ray in championship matches. Dominic Mysterio looking to turn things around for himself as well as his father tonight on SmackDown. Nice counter by Eric. Like the Viking Raiders tonight, you can't knock their abilities inside of the ring. Absolutely vicious and destructive. Oh no. Beautiful. Dominic Mysterio might have been cut in half right there. Tag made to Ivar. Dominic Mysterio, the heart to go after the Viking Raiders. But Ivar might just be too strong, too powerful, manhandling Dominic. There's the agility getting out of the way, but Ivar meets him on the other side. The Viking Raiders are not allowing the Mysterios any sort of glimmer of hope tonight. And into the submission hold. Rey Mysterio breaking things up. But for how much longer can the Mysterios survive as Ivar looking to take care of business here tonight? Down goes Rey. 
and Dominic laid right next to him, at least for the moment. Dominic Mysterio has still got fight left in him. Race Tech may be running on A, but Dominic Mysterio, a house of fire since entering this matchup. Trying to chase after Ivar here, and he gets him. You know, we're talking so much about the history and watching this match play out, but one thing to certainly mention is the World Tag Team Championships and where they currently reside on Monday Night Raw with Dominic, or excuse me, with Judgment Day and Finn Balor and Damian Priest. You gotta wonder who is gonna be next in line to challenge for the World Tag Team titles. It could very well be one of these teams and the Mysterios of the Viking Raiders, depending on who gets the job done here tonight. Nonetheless, tag made to Eric, tag made to Rey Mysterio, but look at that! Eric striking while the iron's hot. And a kick to the back, referee a little out of position into the cover. Not able to capitalize, but certainly a close call for the Viking Raiders. I do not like Rey Mysterio's chances right now. Things are breaking down at ringside. And Eric, such a striker, he is inside of that ring. But psycho knee, and down goes the master of the 619. Rey Mysterio has taken a beating. And another kick to the spine. Into the cover. And you want to talk about a statement made tonight. The Viking Raiders. An absolute clean sweep of the Mysterios here tonight in Greensboro. A dominating performance. Message sent to both the tag team division on SmackDown and Raw that the Viking Raiders are coming to get theirs. Here are your winners, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. An intimidating performance. And could the Viking Raiders be next in line for a shot at the World Tag Team Championship? Well, coming your way next week in Hot Lana, Cody Rhodes is heading home, and he is going to be back in action against Alpha Academy's Master Gable, Chad Gable, one on one with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, next week in Atlanta. And also coming your way next week on SmackDown as Drew McIntyre prepares to defend his World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam. He locks horns with an old rival, the blue chipper of Friday nights, Braun Breaker. A lot of history between these two men, and they reignite that flame seven nights from tonight in Atlanta, Georgia on SmackDown. But as for tonight in Greensboro, it is main event time. But this is not the first time that we have seen Randy Orton tonight. The blood certainly on the hands of the cold-hearted Apex Predator. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the race from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper Randy Orton. We kicked off tonight with the footage that surfaced of the events of earlier today, Edge arriving to the Greensboro Coliseum only to be met on ambush by Randy Orton in the backstage area. And an absolutely vicious RKO in the concrete. We have yet to hear an update on the rated R superstar, but Randy Orton certainly sending a message to Edge that no matter how many times these two men step foot in that ring, the issues will never be settled. Randy Orton has got a personal vendetta against the rated R superstar, and you gotta believe that Edge getting involved with what was originally a one-on-one -on -one championship match for Orton at Money in the Bank certainly took those issues to another level. Of course, at Money in the Bank, Drew McIntyre retained his World Heavyweight title against Edge and Randy Orton. An absolutely war of all wars in a triple threat matchup. And the interesting thing to note is Randy Orton was the one pinned on that night in Columbus, Ohio. But you know the Viper not going to take blame for his own loss. He's going to push that blame off to the rated R superstar Edge. The man who interjected himself. The man who made it a triple threat match. Which again was originally Randy Orton getting a one-on-one -on -one shot against Drew McIntyre. Well, so much history between Orton and Edge and... After what we saw earlier today, Randy Orton not settled his issues with Edge just yet. But he better refocus because there is a phenomenal one on his tail. Randy Orton set to lock horns with AJ Styles and what is going to be a main event of epic proportions tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And his opponent, 
representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. We well, want to talk about no shortage of history. AJ Styles and Randy Orton, certainly no strangers to each other. Already in 2023, they have had two classic battles, first dating back to January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Both men were a part of Monday Night Raw. Randy Orton retained his WWE Championship on that night against AJ Styles. But the last time we saw these two men on opposite sides of the squared circle was in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament. And AJ Styles, of course, knocking off Randy Orton on that night. And I'm sure the Apex Predator has not forgotten about that eerie e evening in the midst of the King of the Ring and is looking for some vengeance here tonight on SmackDown. Big time main event on hand on what's been a great night of action here in the Blue Brand. The road to SummerSlam continues as AJ Styles meets Randy Orton in your main event attraction. And AJ hot out of the gate, taking the fight to Randy Orton. You know, AJ Styles and Edge, Two men who have had some battles with each other, but as we saw earlier this year, some mutual respect between the Phenomenal One and the Rated R Superstar. AJ and Edge teamed up back at WrestleMania to take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And I'm sure AJ Styles feels a little bit of responsibility tonight to do one good for Edge in the midst of this matchup after Randy Orton's assault earlier this evening. Nonetheless, Randy Orton and AJ Styles locking horns on what could be a pivotal matchup to determine who's going to be next in line for the World Heavyweight Championship after SummerSlam. A championship set to be defended on the 20th of August as Drew McIntyre, who has held the gold since WrestleMania Saturday, puts the title on the line against the 2023 King of the Ring winner, All Day Austin Theory. That is going to be Friday Night SmackDown's main event at the biggest party yet SummerSlam. And of course, next week here on SmackDown Live from Hot Atlanta, Drew McIntyre back in action for the first time since Money in the Bank. As he goes one-on-one -on -one with the blue chipper of the blue brand, Braun Breaker. No shortage of history as well between those two men. Set to reignite that flame next week here on SmackDown. Nonetheless, Randy Orton taking the fight to AJ Styles, but he better keep his eye on the ball. Because Styles not one to take lightly from bell to bell. As Randy Orton finds out yet again just there. As we mentioned, the two matches earlier this year between these two men and really has just gotten better and better every time Styles and Orton step foot inside the squared circle. They know each other's arsenals. They know each other's what they bring to the game. And AJ Styles looking to knock off Orton early. And he almost had him, not just yet. Remember how tough that battle was in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament. AJ Styles barely survived Randy Orton on that night, but he did just that. And I am sure Randy Orton has not forgotten about the man who derailed his King of the Ring promise. Nonetheless, the fight gets taken to the outskirts by AJ Styles. However, Randy Orton's the one on top, at least for a moment. But right now, we got a Pier 6 brawl at ringside. Styles sent it Orton into the barricade and now back inside the square circle. Randy Orton on his feet as dangerous as ever. And back and forth, the pendulum of momentum swings. And a vintage snap slam by Randy. Oh, and now into the ropes. You want to talk about vintage. Randy Orton not wasting any time tonight. Going for this classic DDT off Brett's rope. And AJ Styles may be seeing stars here in the Coliseum in Greensboro. Randy Orton looking for the kill early. Randy's already been plenty of busy throughout today with that ambush on the Rated R Superstar Edge. I'm sure Orton's looking to get the job done as soon as humanly possible against AJ Styles. And he's got to know better that it's not going to be an easy task. AJ Styles is going to keep singing until the cows come home. Pele kicked by the Phenomenal One. AJ does it better than anybody inside of that ring. Styles, who is, of course, oh, wait a minute. Got Randy Orton, fireman's carry position and dropping him on the knee with the neck breaker. Into the cover, goes Styles. And he almost had him there, but Orton survives. As we were about to mention, we were talking about the King of the Ring tournament. AJ Styles, of course, a few months back, coming up short. 
in the semifinals against Austin Theory, who went on to win the whole thing. And then just a few weeks ago, AJ Styles coming up short in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Although some opportunities passing Styles by, every time you step foot inside the squared circle, a chance to change your momentum. And that's what Styles is looking to do here tonight on SmackDown. Taking the fight to Randy Orton, and Orton getting out of dodge, at least for the moment. But here comes Styles over the top rope with the forearm. Almost a variation of the phenomenal forearm that nobody hits better than AJ Styles. And back inside of the ring, and Randy Orton is looking worse for wear. Styles could be near in victory tonight on Friday Night SmackDown as he heads to the top rope. Randy Orton down and out, and I don't think he's going to like the crash landing he's about to be a part of. Dropping the elbow, and that may be all she wrote. Styles into the cover at only a one. This is Randy Orton's first matchup as well since the night of Money in the Bank. Although it was an absolute war against Edge and Drew McIntyre, Styles going through a war of his own in Money in the Bank. You gotta wonder if either of these men are 100% tonight or if they've had enough time to heal up and come out swinging to the fullest extent. And finally, a counter by Randy Orton, a much needed one, and an RKO out of nowhere. And that's gonna do it. No, AJ Styles gets the shoulder up. AJ popping the shoulder off the canvas. Randy Orton struck with the RKO out of nowhere. But Styles has felt it before. And he's fought from underneath before. And now AJ, Styles clash on Orton. Will that do it? And Randy Orton kicks out. We have got a barn burner on hands tonight in North Carolina. And RKO does not keep Styles down for the three. A Styles clash does not keep Orton down for the three. And we have yet to hear a bell, which means fists are gonna continue to fly as Randy Orton lays out the phenomenal one. Business is picking up in your main event tonight on SmackDown. The road to SummerSlam certainly heating up. I'm sure both of these men would love to find their way inside the squared circle in Levi Stadium next month. AJ taking to the outside, and Randy Orton, his wheels may be turned on what he's got to do to keep down Styles tonight. If the RKO didn't do it, what's he going to have to do to keep Styles down for good? And now Randy Orton, rare occurrence in the arsenal, but possibly desperate for victory as Orton comes off the top, but nobody home. AJ had that rare misstep from Randy Orton scouted. And now AJ. Look at a rally here in North Kakalaki as down goes Orton. Wherever the rated R Superstar Edge if, is, Edge is, if he's even still in the building tonight, I'm sure he's feeling good right now about what Styles is doing to Orton. Off the neck breaker and a close call again and AJ Styles' wheels are spinning. What is he gonna have to do to get the three count over the future Hall of Famer and Randy Orton? Greensboro, North Carolina, certainly giving their appreciation to these two SmackDown All-Stars as the fight continues. Oh, wait a minute. Randy Orton starting to come unglued. Orton go to that place and down goes Styles. AJ Styles cannot allow a rally out of the Viper, but there's a reversal. Back and forth we go again, and Styles looking to steal the victory. Stacking up Orton. And Orton gets the shoulder up. The matchup rolls on. And what a matchup it is. Orton on the outside of the ring. Wearing in punishment as AJ Styles. I think this is the best case scenario for Styles at the moment. Taking that moment to breathe and trying to recalculate a game plan to keep down Randy Orton tonight. Now Orton back inside the squared circle. Grabbing a stranglehold on Styles. Open him off, going for another slam, but AJ had it scouted. He can't go to the well too many times with the same maneuvers when you're in there with somebody the caliber of an AJ Styles. Little well, snake guys there. All up to a man Randy Orton had many a battles with here on SmackDown back in his younger days. Phenom, the Undertaker. Well, Styles down and out, and Randy Orton yet again going uncharacteristic, heading to the top. This time, nails the elbow to the heart. And that may do it. 
AJ's got no win left in his system, but somehow you just see the enthusiasm off the kick out. AJ Styles not willing to give an inch tonight. I don't know how AJ and Randy Orton, for that matter, still have anything left in the tank. They have thrown their best shots. An RKO, a Styles clash, and yet this matchup rolls on. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, next week here on SmackDown, we're going to be live from Atlanta, Georgia. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes back in action against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Ron Breaker set to go one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre, plus the 16-man bracket set to be revealed for the Cruiserweight Classic. Oh, wait a minute. Back inside the squared circle, Randy Orton, a second RKO! Into the cover. Thanks for coming. After a phenomenal matchup, Styles is going home with his head not raised high tonight. Randy Orton making Greensboro, North Carolina his place to be tonight. First the ambush on edge earlier today and then leaving his territory inside of the ring with an RKO. Here's your winner, the Vipers, Randy Orton. Randy Orton, as vindictive and spiteful as ever, made a statement when he ambushed Edge, and he just made another with that RKO on it. Oh, wait a minute. The Rated R Superstar is still here in the Coliseum, and he's ambushing the Viper. The brawl is on. Things spilled over to the backstage area earlier today by choice of Randy Orton, but this time it's Edge making the first move, and things now spilling out into the Greensboro Coliseum. Don't pick a fight with somebody like Edge, because Edge is going to come back swinging harder than ever. And things are breaking down right now. We have got a brawl on our hands. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. Simply a pier six brawl between Edge and Randy Orton. Edge is coming for his payback tonight. And down goes Randy Orton, already exhausted from a clinic with AJ Styles, and now is feeling the wrath of the Rated R Superstar. Orton may have bit off more than he can chew here tonight in North Carolina as he gets sent to the outside. And Edge has got his eyes locked in over the top rope. Things are breaking down. We got to go off the air. We got to get settled between Edge and Randy Orton. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.